Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh, I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she We have Ronnie Patterson, my host of Donnie Brook News Diet, down there with Mr. Will White, our commentary tonight. Folks, tonight's event is sanctioned by the Global Association of Mixed Martial Arts Regional Director Tom Kilkenny, looking fine around here somewhere. Our referees in charge of the action this evening, Mr. Brandon Medina, Mr. Jean Paul Zuniga, two of the best trained individuals out of New York. So you guys know we've got some good referees here tonight. Dr. Ed Cage side, Mr. Luke Brown. And before I introduce you guys, a good friend of mine, I would like to introduce the gentleman who will be sitting tonight's national anthem, ladies and gentlemen, Vermont's own Tim Brick. Please stand for our national anthem. Oh, sweet. Excavating, comforting, and sweets 
Credit City, LLA. Bars of construction, who will kick Harley Davidson? Gussel's Bar, Yikes, Bevin and Sons, Gold Truck Cannabis, Central Perks Mall, and the hashtag for tonight is hashtag Tommy Brook. Bear her mouth. Are we ready? I said, are we ready? Let's get this party started with bout number one in the 170 pound division scheduled for three three minute rounds of mixed martial arts action. Please welcome into the blue corner, Andrew Oliveira. All right, folks, welcome to Battle and Barry 13. I'm Ben Field alongside Ronnie Patterson and Will White. We're back to do it again. Here's the tail of the tape here. Both these guys weighed in yesterday under the limit or right around the limit. Well, we've done our homework here. What can you tell me about these two gentlemen as Andrew Oliveira makes his way to the cave? Yeah, Andrew Oliveira coming out, uh, fighting out of Rogue Island Combat in Rhode Island, my home state. Rogue Island has had pretty good success here at Battle of the Berry in the past. Uh, Andrew has a one-in-one one record across all combat sports. Uh, he's been doing Muay Thai for three years, kickboxing for three years, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for eight years. Ronnie, do you want to take his pro fighter that he looks up to? Yeah, so the pro fighter, fighter he is trying to replicate and or that inspires him is Anderson Silva, Israel Adesanya, and Peter Young, which honestly describes his fighting style as well. This man is definitely one of the most exciting fighters I've ever seen. Bit of a veteran here at Donnybrook Fight Promotions. Man, I got the energy of this Memorial Day party flowing through my veins tonight, guys. Ben over here bouncing up and down. We getting jiggy with it from commentary. Thank you to everybody that is tuned in about the paper at home. And you're in for one hell of a night here, eight fights. And you're jumping into the cage with a nice front row. And now making the ring walk into the red corner. Please welcome Calvin Holtgren. All right, this is one that you know halfway decently well, correct, Ronnie Calvin Holtgren. He is out of Gracie, Vermont. Wasn't sure there was a Gracie school in Vermont until I met these guys. What can you tell us about this gentleman here, Ryan? So his overall record is 1-0. He's been doing jiu-jitsu for three years. Um, he won in Battle of Barry 12 against Bill and Lowy uh, with a rear naked choke a minute into the first round. So that was a pretty resounding win. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, this is definitely a fight of style. So, we'll see who can implement their game plan more. We're just getting up, uh, getting ready to enter the cage here. Don't forget, folks, tune in live this Tuesday. Ronnie Patterson and I will be breaking down all the action from Battle of Barry 13. 8 p.m. across the socials. I don't know if you knew we were doing that show, Ronnie, but you do now. Oh, man. Surprise, you're committed now. Oh, yeah. There is Calvin Holdgren as he makes his way back into the Donnie Brooks cage. Let's send it to our ring announcer, Justin Manning. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our opening contest of this Battle and Perry 13 event and a 170-pound MMA division scheduled for three, three and it rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet, one and a half inches, weighing 172 pounds, by way of Fall River, Massachusetts, and training at a Rogue Island Combat. He is Andrew And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, he stands five feet, nine and a half inches, weighing 169.4 pounds, originally from Burlington, and now residing out of Essex, training out of Gracie, Vermont, he is Calvin 50 Cal Holgren. Calvin 50 Cal Holgren. The referee for this contest 
Brendan Medina. Gotta love what Justin Manning brings to the table. That's probably the best ring announcer Vermont has seen as Justin Manning absolutely kills these intros. Here we go, we are set for round number one as Justin Manning kills the intros here. Guy, best damn ring announcer we've had here. Round number one underway. This fight brought to you by Comfort In. They start feeling each other off. Nice catch there. Leg kicks back and forth. Looks like that one may have hurt Holmgren. You look at the way he kind of shifted the way his leg was sitting as he yeah. shoots for a takedown. Good defense. Oh, it's good. It's good there we go, yeah, there we go, man. Listen to the corner and look what you get. Andrew Oliveira staying on his feet, at least for now. Trying to wrap up that leg there. As you can see, it's a battle of leg position. There we go, he got it. He's gonna try to drag him right down to the mat. There we are, right here in front of the commentary position. It's a dangerous proposition if you are the opponent of Calvin Holtgren. That Gracie Jiu Jitsu definitely showed his last time out in the rear naked choke. Yeah, he's just right into the first round. Yeah, he can go to work and do it quick here to your credit, Will. Calvin seems to be defending fairly well even though he's on the bottom. Here, Andrew Oliveira's corner not wanting him to go into mount, keep him locked down. Minute gone by, just over in this fight. So he got him back with Andrew on the bottom there. He is keeping good control. Trying to pass into Mount is Holtgren. Trying to pass that leg. He's got that half guard. Yeah, he's clamped down there. That's some good half guard attention. It looks like he might be trying to go for like a, a arm triangle or. I think he's just trying to break the posture that way he does it. There we go! That's just what you want if you're the Rogue Island corner. Their athlete taking his time, staying patient, staying composed. Yeah, that corner wants no part of that jujitsu, at least by the way it seems. They, they think they're our clearest path to victory here in the striking. Well, Andrew's got his right arm on the mat. Once the jujitsu guy sees you have a hip on the mat, oh, yeah, that's gonna, it. they're going to clamp onto it. They're going to try to use that to their advantage. Yeah, you can see how he's got the overhook on the arm, so now he's just using that as a point of leverage, basically. When I took my first jujitsu class, that was jujitsu 101. Do not put an arm down on the mat like that. Your hands are on the mat, you're getting your arms snatched. See, what Andrew wants to do is Andrew wants to posture up so that he can start to land punches, but he can't land punches with the overhook that Calvin has. It's just, it's a difficult position. He's been taking good control. He's listening to his corner very well here, too. He's got to watch out for the Man, Andrew's got a good base. All right, in just the waning seconds of this round. There we go, round one is complete. Take a look at these replays. Brought to you by STF Media. This takedown here definitely had to work to get it, but once Holtgren got him down, he went to work. He had good control on the top there, although Andrew Oliveira did a good job keeping control on the bottom. Yeah, so here's the sweep. Just yeah. kind of sweeps him over there. That was a pretty even round. I, I don't know if I could yeah. call it to either of them. They kind of switched places halfway through. I don't know. It would, I guess it might come down to more of the control time than anything. Yeah, I mean, if it's control time, i got to give it to Calvin. I don't Once, know. How far through the round did, they, did Oliveira flip him? I'm not sure we'd have to get a, a check from that from the production crew, maybe the guys in the truck. But I mean, Cal let us know. So Calvin was working to just break posture, but Andrew Oliveira was working to get out of guard and start action. So I don't know. Really yeah. But which was happened. more effective, the grappling? I, I mean, Oliveira ended the round on top, so you could say his grappling was more effective and state that as your case for Oliveira to get round one in his favor. But here we go, round two is now underway. Didn't tell you this earlier, Holtgren in the black, Oliveira in the white trunks. Rhode Island says he's got nothing, uh, he says Holtgren has nothing for Oliveira. Interesting take there by that corner. Oh, Ooh. nice. Cross this, cross this. Rhode Island, yep. traditionally more tied to as far as Oliveira. So he's going back to the guard. It was such just intelligent 
fight IQ by Oliveira listening to his corner. That guy has tuned in to what his coach was saying. Watch that arm! Watch that arm! Yeah, so now he's basically just going to use that as a control position yeah. and try to sweep him over if he can. I don't think he has enough space to finish if the can, arm. Yeah, if he can't unless, sweep him over. Unless he can get that arm. If that arm gets behind his back, it's going to be a stinky situation. And it's looking like it's we're working that way. But he's stuck. Oh, that was a good move. Right? Oh, 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 oh boy. But he's the arm. That's oh, getting close. The I've arm. been in the building when somebody's arm has snapped okay. from that, about where the it's distance I'm at now. Oh, straight, come on. It's a straight arm bar. He's fighting for it, though. He's working like a bandit on that one. Right so what you want to do in this position is you want to try to get your hand on the inside of your thigh and work to get your knee and your elbow kind of in the same line. Oh, he is working on cranking that. He's going to step oh, over and really get that to leg over the head, man. That's, Drew, that's forward, the north south oh, position. Yeah. No, he's what got control now. Oh, my God. What is going on here today? Ooh, that's a Oliveira, think about tapping. There it is. The end of the fight. We open the way with the submission tonight. Kelvin Holkren yeah. moves to 2 0. Oh. That was a great round. That was a nail biter. Yep. That had me worried. That's one of those positions where you get in and you stay there long enough and they're going to get it. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, you can see him step over the head there, and now he's stuck. Yeah, so as soon as he steps over the head, he's got an insane amount of leverage to just yep. crank that arm behind his back. So basically what's happening is he's twisting his shoulder behind his back, almost like a police officer would do to control you. But he's extending that way, way farther. I'm just waiting for the uh, final report from the judges. And we got our final decision from Justin Manning. A decisive win from Calvin. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from both of our athletes for this opening contest here for Battle and Berry 13. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by Kimura submission, round number two, one minute, 40 seconds, flying out of the front corner. Representing Gracie Vermont, Calvin, 50 Cal Holbrook. Uh, great, great, great win for the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu team. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, we that's... meet again, and once again, that Gracie Jiu-Jitsu comes in handy, my guy. You got another win here. How you feeling? Feel great, man. Hey, uh, where's uh, Tyler at? Farmer, where you at, boys? No, Tyler? Yeah. You trying to call somebody out? You're looking for a friend. Some fellas. 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 Some you got another win here. You've got 2-0 oh inside this cage. I can ask for a call out at this point, or maybe what you want next. Is there anything on the tip of your tongue or an idea you have here? Uh, no, whoever, whoever wants to fight. Uh, I don't know what to say I was focused on the cat. Rex, get him back here in August. I want to see this guy back in the cage. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Mr. Kelvin Holker. When they throw shade, that's when I glow. I'm so ahead of y'all, that's a different time zone. 